This is the City of Davis Wastewater Treatment Plant, located on 280 acres northeast of Davis, California. The plant treats an average of four and a half million gallons of wastewater a day in order to support the residential, commercial, and industrial activities of the community. In 2017, the plant was upgraded to replace old treatment processes. This work was done to comply with enhanced state water quality regulations, as well as to promote environmental sustainability by enabling the city to recycle water. These improvements will serve Davis for many years to come. Let's take a look at how the city of Davis collects, treats, and disposes of its wastewater. Most of us don't know what happens to water after it leaves our homes. Once water goes down the drain or is flushed in the toilet, it becomes what we call wastewater. Every home and business uses water and generates wastewater. When the wastewater leaves our home or business, it begins the journey by gravity through the city's collection system on its way to the wastewater treatment plant. The city's collection system consists of 164 miles of underground pipes and six lift stations. Once those underground pipes are too deep to let gravity do all the work, lift stations are used to lift wastewater to a higher elevation, allowing gravity to once again take over to deliver wastewater to the treatment plant. In Davis, wastewater is treated in four stages. These stages of treatment are called preliminary, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Wastewater enters the plant where pumps lift the wastewater several stories to begin preliminary treatment. The process removes coarse solids and other large materials in order to protect downstream treatment equipment from being clogged or damaged. Treatment begins at the mechanical bar screens, where large materials such as rags, plastics, wood, and metal are sifted out. The material is washed, compacted, bagged, and transported to the nearby landfill for disposal. The screened wastewater then enters the aerated grit basin, where air is injected into the water to enhance settling and removal of heavy, smaller material, such as sand, bone chips, seeds, coffee grounds, and eggshells. This grit is collected in bags and is disposed in the landfill. The wastewater then continues on to primary treatment. Large tanks called primary clarifiers are used to slow down the velocity of the wastewater in order to remove floating and settleable solids. Particles settle to the bottom and become sludge, which is pumped out and sent to a digester for further treatment. Fats, oil, and grease float to the surface of the clarifier, which develops a scum layer. This scum layer is skimmed off and also sent to the digester. At this point in the treatment, the primary clarifiers remove about 60% of the solids remaining in the wastewater. Once primary treatment is completed, the wastewater is then pumped to aeration basins where secondary treatment begins. This treatment process utilizes large tanks which contain bacteria and oxygen to biologically break down organic matter, oxidize and reduce nutrients, and remove most of the remaining solids and contaminants from the wastewater. The wastewater and bacteria flow from the aeration basins to the secondary clarifiers, where the fat and happy bacteria settle to the bottom as sludge, while the cleaner water cascades over the clarifier wares on its way to final treatment. Tertiary treatment is the final cleaning process that improves wastewater quality before it is reused, recycled, or discharged to the environment. The process utilizes cloth membrane filters to remove any remaining particles larger than 10 microns. Finally, chlorine is added to kill any pathogens or disease-causing organisms that may have survived the treatment process. After treatment, the chlorine is neutralized to remove it from the wastewater. After the chlorine has been neutralized, the treated wastewater is discharged to the Willow Slough Bypass or diverted to the Davis Wetlands to enhance habitat. 
Sampling and testing the water at each step of the process is critical to ensuring the treatment systems are working properly. By the time the treated water leaves the plant, it meets California's stringent requirements designed to protect the environment, aquatic life, and everyone that enjoys California's waterways. Now let's see what happens to the sludge and scum that was removed during the treatment processes. The sludge from the clarifiers is sent to the anaerobic digesters, where it is heated, mixed, and stabilized. The acid and methane-forming bacteria in this oxygen-free environment reduce the amount of sludge in the digesters by feeding on the solids while creating methane gas. The methane is used as a free energy source to heat the digesters. The solids leaving the digesters are sent to a screw press, where most of the water is removed. The remaining solids are called biosolids, which are sent to the local landfill where the organic material is used to cover the trash. The city never sleeps, so most equipment in the treatment plant operates 24 hours a day. It takes a lot of power to treat wastewater. That is why the city installed a solar energy facility to help supply some of that power with green energy. This 800 kilowatt array produces approximately 40% of the power required to run the wastewater treatment facility. From collection of the wastewater to the treatment processes, solids disposal, and finally discharge to the Sacramento Valley waterways, the entire process of treating wastewater is monitored and managed by a team of committed and highly skilled professionals seven days a week. Now you know how the City of Davis Wastewater Treatment Plant collects, cleans, and returns water to the local waterways, generates its own power, and recycles solids to create organic materials that aids in composting at the landfill. The City of Davis is committed to providing reliable wastewater services in the most innovative, safest, and economical means possible while protecting public health and the environment.